uh, hello friends welcome to coding section so today in this tutorial i will be telling you that uh, how to scrape html table and uh, store that data into a csv file using the be beautiful soup for library in, which is present inside python so this is the application that we will be building so you can see that this is a html table which is located on this address so this is my python script so now if i run the script you will see that a new csv file will be created let me just run the script here so you will see that a new uh, csv file has been generated and all the table data has, has been uh, inserted into this file so you can see that this is a heading here HTML table this is the table data the table heading and table data so now if I open that CSV file using an online service choose file and this is the CSV file generated so you can see that inside this CSV file all the content has been stored so with this Python script so the whole source code is given in the video description you can check so now let me just uh, delete this code and write the script once again and also delete this file csv file delete it move to recycle it so the first thing that you will require for this application will be the beautiful soup for library which is a python module so if you don't have it you can instantly write a command here pip install bs4 as i already have this module i will not install it again so the first line we will write here is importing the request module of python which will be making a request to the server to fetch the data and secondly we will be importing the csv module to in order to generate csv files lastly we will be importing the beautiful soup from bs4 import beautiful soup and we will make a lice we will be using the symbol bs instead of beautiful soup and first of all we will be making request so make a new variable of url request dot get so inside this get we will pass here the full address on which the file has been located so just copy this address and paste it here So after this we need to use the beautiful soup library so make a new soup variable and use the bs so this function takes first of all the url dot content so this will return all the con uh, html content which is returned by this so view page source it so it will return all this so we need to parse this so the second parameter which it has is the parser so you can see that in single quotes we will write here html dot parser so there are various parsers available in beautiful soup you can read the documentation and after that we will create a file name for our csv file so let me name it as test.csv after that we will be making a new variable of csv writer and call the csv module dot writer method this first of all expect the file name so we will first of all be opening the file by using the open function and passing here the first of all the file name this is test.csv 
and comma the mode in which you want to uh, open the file so we will be using the write mode so after this I can just extract some data out of this web page so just inspect element and uh, select the element that you want to extract or scrape so I want to extract first first of all this h2 heading so this is h2 element so with the help of beautiful soup you can achieve that make a new variable of heading soup dot find and here you can pass your element that is h2 and we can print this heading here heading dot content so this will print out html table in the console so if i open this and rerun the script you will see that it, it is printing out sorry there is some kind of error so let me just see here sorry this is heading dot text text property not is content so if i rerun it you will see that it will be html table so you can see that so this is the h2 heading so in similar fashion we will be fetching all the table information and storing it in csv file inspect element again and here you can see the whole structure of the table so these are the three table heading tags after that there is it in each of the table row tags there are table data tags so in this fashion we will be scraping the data here with the help of beautiful soup library so after this I can run a for loop to extract the table data first and store it in csv file so we, I will make a loop here for tr make a new variable tr in soup dot find all so there is a find underscore all method so this will find all the table row tags inside the document html document and inside the loop let me make a new array of data so inside this array we will be storing the information and first of all for extracting the table heading so this will execute only once because there are only one table heading that is there so for this we will have for th th is a variable in tr dot find all again we will be finding all the table headings which are available in this table row so we will pass here in single quotes th so inside this loop we will be appending data append th dot text we are again using this text property this will just extract the text which is there inside the table heading this is company contact and country so after appending the text here so we will be coming out of the loop here and we will be having a if statement if data is there inside this array we will be displaying it in the console first of all so we will use print statement print some kind of message that is inserting headers so inside this curly brackets we will be dynamically be inserting the data So we will be using the format method sorry this is not single quotes this is double quotes we will be using the format method so inside this format first of all we will be having the delimiter which is comma so csv file stands for comma separate comma separated values 
so we will be having this comma here after this we will be joining this by the data by using the join function dot join and basically passing all the data so join data so have another curly uh, parentheses so this completes this print line so after this we will be having csv writer function dot actually write the row inside the csv file so we will be using a write row function and this takes actually the data which has to be written so csv writer dot write row so after that we will be writing continue because this has to be run only once so that is why after the, all this loop so after this we will be inserting the table data we will be extracting all the table data which is there inside these rows what is the mistake which is coming here let me see which is quick fix of code actions so I think that this is so you can see that the error has gone still the error is there so let me just see the original code which was available so this was the original code let me just copy it and paste it here inserting headers so now you can see that there are no errors and uh, you can see that so now if I run the script here at this moment python pdf.py so you can see that first is the heading h2 heading and secondly we have the table table heading which is there inside this company contact and country so you can see that it has successfully inserted this into the csv file and a test csv file has been generated by this comma separated values so you can see that company contact and country so now we will write the code to execute for scraping the the actual table data values so for this we will run a another loop which is for td in tr dot find all which is equal to in single quotes let me write td so this is basically saying that find all elements which have td tag inside the table row and what we have to do again data dot append and we will be appending td dot text dot strip method so you can see that you have to write this so this will actually store all the data of the table data tag inside this data array and after that we have to come out of this loop 
and check by if statement if data is there we will be printing the statement here print statement that is inserting table data let's suppose table data in curly brackets we will again use the format method so the first uh, option will be comma and then we will be joining it join data that's it and lastly we will be using the csv writer to actually insert data into the csv file dot write row function and it expects the data and we will insert it that's it again this problem comes like if data the whole code is good but there is just a problem of indentation so let me just again see it and paste it in a right manner So you can see that the whole script is complete now. So now if I delete this file test.csv, delete it and if I rerun this script again, so now you will see that a new test.csv file has been created and it has all the records here. H2 heading is printed out in the console and this is a table heading and this is a table data and now if I open the test.csv you can see that this is table heading and this is the table data which is there in the csv file so in this way you can extract and scrape the html data inside the csv file using the beautiful soup library which is present inside python so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much